Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. I need. I took the old shit out and I'm putting in the new vibe. Everybody compliment my teeth. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. you know what I'm talking about? You know, there's no flares. We just... <laughs> Funny, because I always had a big smile. This is perfect. I love my teeth. Who? Who? All right, it's good, business. Yeah, that's how you. That's how you shut the earth down like that. You know what I'm saying? This ain't it amazing how I just got the world in my hands like that. Like I could just say something, make an idea. Like I know I'm gonna make the whole world stop and talk about this right here because that's what I want to do for myself. That's that's an amazing power. I can make the whole world listen to something in 20 seconds. Baby, I love you. You my everything. Yeah, man, it's over with. Niggas can't fuck with this shit. Plug Geo. Not Johnny. Excuse me, dummy. I ain't trying to be funny. I ain't trying. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, man. Check it, man. Uh, this here, man. I, I talked about this the other day, man. Uh, a few days ago. Maybe yesterday. But whatever the case, man. Sauce Walker responds, man, to Johnny uh, Dane, man, about these uh, toothaces in his mouth, man. He ain't playing no games. He tell you basically he can say something and it can pretty much stop everything else that's going on when he makes his statement. Uh, this man, Sauce Walker, we know already leveling up with the mouthpiece, you know, and it, it, it's cool, you know. I really, dang, a lot of people got to come and say they couldn't understand what uh, my boy John and Dane was saying, but they have a long relationship, man, and I didn't think that Sauce really, you know, took it too hard on him. He just said these wasn't done by Johnny, you know, Club Geo, whatever the case may be. Maybe that's his new jewel. I don't know, but I do know that Johnny Dane said he wanted to take him out to eat, so Sauce Walker responds, and he ain't trying to, you know, basically stir the pot too much, but just enjoying his toothpaces, you know what I'm saying? Enjoying his new grill. And, you know, that's that Houston thing when it come down to them grills, man, how they, they love to pull up. Shout out to John and Dane, because he definitely was a pioneer at helping to start and create and push that whole movement, man. But I just, I don't know, was, was, was Sauce Walker wrong for this? I got my boy Trill Talk, no pill talk. Man, Trill Talk, no pill talk. You there, man? Yeah, I'm good. Man, uh, what did you think? Have you been seeing? I mean, Sauce got the bling blow. You know what I'm saying? It's going yeah, down. The grill, the grill, the diamonds look good, but the, the grill is too big. It's kind of heavy, though. Good. It's kind of heavy. Man, that nigga can't even talk right with that shit in his mouth. Oh, wait a minute. So you thinking that it's just too much? It's yeah, a lot of diamonds, man. Saying, oh, man, this is great. This is great. The grill look great. But, man, the diamonds look great. I ain't taking them away from the diamonds. I ain't hate, but the them diamonds glistening. Yeah, the grill just looked like it's too big for his mouth. It's bigger than them niggas that had them veneers in his mouth. Them veneers, I seen some big, big veneers. There's one dude went viral on the internet for them big veneers. So you saying you 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 think that it looked better than Johnny's, or you think it just wasn't? It, it ain't it ain't uh, shaved and shaped right. I think if Johnny would have did, it would have been clean. So you think Johnny Johnny's would have been a, a tighter fit? Yeah, it would have been a tight fit. You wouldn't have had that. What Johnny say? A half moon. We got half moon at top and bottom. We got half moon. Oh, so Johnny, you could understand him. I see. I didn't catch that part. See, you be on it, man. Yeah, he was telling him that the grill was good. He said, but today, you know, like how he got the diamond, like they don't be fitting the grills in their mouth right like now. So the grill basically got to be placed in the correct manner in order for you to get the utter enjoyment out of the grill. Is what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. Like, if you look at all the grills that you've seen placed, would you say, which one, is this like, 
this one the most worst place or is it a good I mean oh, hell no, hell it's been some niggas out there cause I ain't gonna lie I didn't think nothing of it I thought they if you don't want to shave your teeth down you gotta make it bigger cause you don't want to mess your teeth up but he already had a grill before this right yeah I'm pretty sure his teeth already been shaved up wow wow so you think so was Johnny wrong for going off on him though Trill Talk I think now I do think Johnny was wrong for going off because Johnny sound like Johnny was mad because he didn't spend that money with Johnny wanted that money. But Sauce mentioned his name first, though. Yeah, but he didn't, he didn't do some, though. He said, just, he just, that's like you do a grill for me. And then I go get a grill for somebody as well. I'm going to take out the E grills. I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in such and such grill. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be, that ain't nothing bad saying about you. They're just saying I let a little nigga do my grill this time. Wow. So you, you, feel, you really feel like it's okay to, uh, just move forward and, and change. Well, it's business. It's, it's business at the end of the day. It's business at the end of the day, so I got to agree with you on that. Yeah, I go buy some shoes at finish line today. Don't mean I can't buy them for Footlocker next week. I agree 100% that it definitely business, and you can't get caught up in it to a place where you become emotional if somebody don't pick you. I, I was about to buy some chains the other day for the group, and then when I was buying them, the dude got mad at me because I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to give you no 10 bands or nothing down, uh, and you basically can't show me a proof of what it's going to look like. Man, that's crazy. Unless you can sign something saying that you guarantee me if I don't like it, my money come back to me because he didn't want to give me a sample piece. I ain't going to say his name. But it's like sometimes these jewelers, they get beside themselves and they feel like it's more about them than it is about the customer. These customers are what's really, really what's making you keep popping. So I think it hurt Johnny Dang feeling, like you just said, when Sauce decided, hey, man, I'm going to go another route. I'm going to show who gave me this grill and I'm going to get him some pub behind this. You feel me? I think that's what really hurt him because I don't know where the dude was from that did the grill from. Did you know the dude or did you? I don't know who I don't know the I don't dude. know the dude. I don't pay attention to the jewels, man. I don't, I don't rock ice like that. You ain't with that ice rocking situation when it come down to it. So no. I mean, okay, so when you think about just the fact that Sauce Walker is saying that he can say something and the whole world stop and acknowledge it, is it the whole world? Or is it just a, the people that rock with him? Man, I think I think everybody seen it pretty much. And Sauce do something, everybody gonna see. He got that down packed to where he say something, everybody gonna listen. Wow. So you agree with him that what he say it, it pretty much rank volumes too. And I say that too. He's a Texas really a, a Texas legend. And a lot of people get mad for me saying that. But to create this whole phase that he's created with having songs, whether it be with Travis Scott or having songs where he's on there with Megan the Stallion or whatever he's doing, he's making his mark, you know. So to be honest with you, when you look at him and he do say something, when it come down to who he is and what he represented, he represented it to the fullest, right? So he yeah, they, he didn't shake talk, a waver. Huh? I said, when he talked, they're going to listen every time. Every time. I mean, from the sauce to splash. A lot of people say a lot of people stole a lot of the styles that he created. A lot of people to drip. They, they say that, that sauce walker is what a lot of people say, man. So, man, thank you, bro. But, yeah, man, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys get in the uh, comments. Let us know what you think about this whole situation when it comes down to Sauce and Johnny Dang. Is, is, is Sauce right? I mean, uh, he, he really just did something to spark and shake up the world. Or is Johnny Dang right for being upset about what he said? Let us know in the comments, man. Make sure you like subscribe to the channel. Boss Talk 101 Reviews, man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see.